So thank you very much. More on this now. Uh, James Carafano joins us. He's the Vice President of National Security and Foreign Policy at the Heritage Foundation. James, thanks for uh, joining us. I'm always fascinated how the two people can go into a room, one comes out a Democrat and says, well, they didn't tell us very much, and then a Republican comes out and said, it was very thorough, we, were, we now know what we're facing. Um, but bottom line, um, it appears to me, and the president has said he does not want to go to war, he just wants to deter, and that's why we have a military buildup in the region to send Iran a message. Is that the way you see it? Look, the crisis is already over. It's like two people after the last episode of Game of Thrones, and they're <laughs> arguing who's going to sit on the Iron Throne. We're done. It's, no, we're done, right? So th there was a legitimate threat. The U.S. actually sent, dis sent warnings to the Iranians through back channels before we did the deployment, telling them to back off. They didn't. Um, the U.S. deployment has actually caused the Iranians to back off. So the, the crisis is really done here, and we're now back in, in debating what the long-term strategy is, and the U.S. has exactly the right strategy because the Iranians are doing that stuff because they're feeling the pressure that the administration has put on them, and they're pushing them back in the box, and that's exactly the right thing to do. All right, we're going to switch gears now. I've got to talk to you about Brexit and this latest attempt by British uh, Prime Minister Theresa May to... You know, God bless her, she's tried it again and again and again. This is like a fourth attempt, a ten-point plan, which no one seems to like uh, after she unveiled it yesterday, so bad that she's actually putting out a plea to Jeremy Corbyn, leader of the opposition uh, Labour Party. Let me just tell you what she says. She says, look, I ask you to compromise too so that we can deliver what both of our parties promised in our manifestos. You know what, we've heard it all before, James. I don't think this can get through, and I think Theresa May's uh, time in number ten is very short short indeed. What say you? Right. The, so the plan's going to get voted down. Um, she essentially, that's the end of her term. Yep. There, there will be uh, probably a new leader in place by the Conservative Party Congress in September. Front runner for that's likely Boris Johnson. Yep. Boris Johnson is very pro-Brexit. The Brexit Party is going to do very, very well in Britain in the European elections. So I think the momentum for, for Britain leaving the, the uh, European Union in October is, is uh, almost, I think that's a at this point, a done deal. Yeah, but, you know, the, the Conservatives don't have a majority in Parliament, so do you not think that Boris may be forced, if indeed he does lead the Conservatives, may be forced to call a general election in order to try and get a majority in Parliament? I, I think they will do everything humanly possible to avoid doing that, and I think mm. everybody, including all their friends and allies, hope that that happens because nobody wants to see Jeremy Corbyn sitting in number 10 Downing Street. <laughs> uh, we'll leave it right there. I couldn't agree more. James Garifano, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.